Hello, Sun Beamers. I hope you all are fine. So, in the previous class, we have studied about the rural local self government. We have understood how the rural self rural local self government works, what are its functions and significance. <clears throat> so, basically, for people live in two types of areas: rural area and urban area. Rural area means the villages. And urban areas means the cities, the metropolis. Okay. In rural areas, the Panchayati Raj system works. In the Panchayati Raj system, we have Gram Panchayat at the village level, Block Samiti at the block level, and Jila Parishad at the district council or district level. But in urban areas, that is in the cities, we have the urban local self-government. The people of the cities elect their own local self-government. Same because the reason behind that is for the development of the city. Because in cities also, we need proper drinking water facility, medical facility, road transport facility, and many other Things also included. So, let us begin the chapter Urban Local Self Government. So, what are the metropolitan cities? The word metropolitan has been derived from the word Greek word metropolis, which means meter, means mother. And polis means city. It is a mother city. Metropolitan means mother city, means the big city. Okay. A city or a town forms the urban area. The city is having a population of 10 lakh or more, comprising one or more districts, are known as metropolitan cities. Delhi, Bombay, Chennai, Kolkata, I think, put in metropolitan cities. So, suppose we take uh, in our consideration, Mumbai. Mumbai comprised of two to three cities, two to three districts. Thane, Mumbai, Dombivili, Mavi Mumbai, etc. These two to three districts combine and make a big city, Mumbai. And you know, Mumbai is a very big city, the largest city of India. Mumbai has a population of more, population more than 10 lakhs. So, in Mumbai, Rural local self-government can't work. So, for the development of Mumbai, for looking after the people of Mumbai, for making development in Mumbai, we need an urban local self-government, which will look after Mumbai. In a separate local self-government for Chennai, uh, uh, for Delhi, separate for Chennai, separate for Kolkata. So, these urban areas are thickly populated, yes, why they are thickly populated? Because people from villages come here for employment. Uh, some uh, students also come for studies. And also different industrialists, they set up their industries. So because of this, these areas get thickly populated. And their needs are also different from the rural areas. Because rural areas, the population is less. But urban areas, as the population is more, they need more civil amenities, more facilities than the rural area people. What are the facilities? Bigger roads, schools, hospitals, transport and communication. Yes, in bigger cities, we need aviation, means aeroplane. We need an airport facility, hospitals, schools, good schools for education because when people will come to get started in urban area, they are children must have a school so that they can go and study over there. Okay. So for this construction of civic communities in an urban area, we need more funds and the urban local bodies are differently organized from the rural local bodies because rural local bodies can't look after this urban area. So for making proper organization, of this urban cities, we have a separate urban local body or urban local self-government. Okay? Yes. 
the type of an urban body depends upon its size of population. Yes. Suppose we take in consideration of two cities. One is your Mumbai and one is a small city that is your let's take Balangir. Palangir is a small city in Odisha. Mumbai has population in crores, but Balangir has a population less than 1 lakh. Mumbai, suppose, has a population of 20 lakh. But Balangir has a population of 1 lakh. So Mumbai has a population of 20 lakh, but Balangir has a population near about 1 lakh. So Mumbai is a huge populated city. And for the huge populated city, we need more schools, more civic amenities as compared to Balangir. So in Mumbai, we will have municipal corporation known as the Mumbai Municipal Corporation or the Bombay Municipal Corporation, BMC. For bigger cities with a huge population. But Balangir has less a population compared to Mumbai, but Balangir's population is more than a rural area. So it will be coming under small city. Okay. So Balangir will have a municipal council or municipality. Okay. I, I hope you have got the difference between municipal corporation and municip uh, municipal council. Apart from these three, We have town area community committees like some small cities which have less population but coming under a district or having some important industry. So there we have established notified area council NSE. Okay. Which is not a municipality but looks after the small town cantonment boards like military cities and port trust like Paradeep, we have a Paradeep port trust which look after the area. The first party of your urban local self government is municipal corporations known as Nagar Nigam. So what is the composition of municipal corporation? Big cities with a huge population of 10 lakh and above like Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai and Chennai have municipal corporations or Nagar Nigam. The head of the municipal corporation is a mayor or Mahapaur. Okay. How the mayor is elected? He is elected by the members of the municipal corporation called municipal councillors. And the people of the city elects the municipal councillors and the municipal councillors elect their mayor. Samjho isko. Our people of the city वो लोग इलेक्ट करेंगे अपने मुंसिपल काउंसिलर को और वो काउंसिलर अपने खुद के मेयर को चुनेंगे बिसाइड द मेयर डेप्यूटी मेयर इज आल्सो इलेक्टेड द मेंबर्स ऑफ द काउंसिलर आर डायरेक्टली इलेक्टेड बाय द पीपल द जनरल काउंसिल ऑफ द कॉर्पोरेशन कंप्राइजेस द मेयर डेप्यूटी मेयर एंड द काउंसिलर्स द जनरल अगेन the general council of the corporations comprising the mayor, deputy mayor and the councillors elect eminent members of eminent persons of the city as elder men. So, suppose in Mumbai, there are some uh, eminent persons means poets or you can say social workers uh, which we said buddhijivi, buddhijivi, social workers or good doctors, good engineers, learned people they also come to the council so that uh, their valuable uh, suggestions can be taken for the development of the city. The day-to-day -day work of the corporation is looked after by the various committee headed by the chairman. Okay, chairman is the head. What is the works done? Uh, what should be, what next should be done? What is the planning going on? Everything is chaired by the chairman. 
every municipal corporation has a chief executive official or commissioner appointed by the state government. Yes. In your block, block samiti, the state government appoints or uh, state government representative is your BDO, block development officer. In your Jila Parisa, the state government representative is your collector. In a municipal corporation, the state government representative is a commissioner or a chief executive officer. He is known as the municipal commissioner. Municipal commissioner or chief executive officer of the respective municipal corporation. What is his main function? To implement the decisions of the municipal corporation. Yes. Next, the municipal corporation is elected for the period of five years. This one you have to note down for five years. Seats are reserved for women, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Yes. So composition, I think you are clear. Mayor, deputy mayor elected by the municipal councillors and municipal councillors are elected by the people of the city. Okay. Functions of the municipal corporation and municipalities. The function of the municipal corporations are similar. Their main functions are to make provisions of electricity, water and sewage disposal, health services, uh, family welfare centers, to take measures to prevent the spread of communicable Yes, during Corona, these municipal corporations took initiative to prevent the spread of communicable diseases, that is your COVID-19. What they took? Social distancing, proper sanitization. They, they took measures to avoid social gathering. Schools were closed. Uh, tourism was totally closed. So like this, they have uh, taken many steps to prevent the spread of the communicable disease, COVID or any other communicable disease. Suppose you have malaria, dengue, they have taken measures no, not to, to prevent the growth of mosquitoes, okay, to cover the drains, to not let stagnant water stay in a place, okay. Like that they have uh, taken many steps to prevent the spread of communicable diseases. Maintain record of birth and deaths. Yes. Why it is important to keep the record of birth and death? Suppose uh, in a hospital, in a day, 50 births is taking place. In another hospital, 70 births are taking place. So it will be known how much people are taking birth, so how, how much children are taking birth and how much people are dying so that we can calculate our birth rate and death rate. And the records will be kept in a municipal corporation and sent to the government so that it can be uh, it can come into record or it can come into your data uh, and after 10 years every 10 years we are having our janganna janganna means your census in the census also it will be important yes this much people were take, have taken birth and this much people died so a growth rate is this much and nowadays without a birth certificate you cannot take admission into any institution and without a death certificate, you cannot uh, improve or you cannot upgrade your bank accounts. So it is very important for having a birth certificate of a child. After death of any individual in a family, there should be a death certificate also. Okay. Next point is to maintain cremation and burial grounds. Yes, it is important because different religious beliefs has their different cremation uh, Techniques, suppose in Hindu, we have we have a technique of cremating. In Christian and Muslims, they have a technique of, they have a ritual of burying. So as according to the different religious beliefs, there should be different cremation or burial grounds in the city, which has to be maintained by the municipal corporations so that religious beliefs should not get hurt. Okay. Check the quality of food sold in the stops, markets, and restaurants. Yes. They will check the quality of food. They will check the quality of in Katak recently. The Katak Municipal Corporation has checked different vendors which are uh, putting their shops on, in the streets, in the roads. And many shops were found uh, not using good quality of food. So that food stuff has been thrown in the dustbin and they were strictly ordered to close their shops. Elsewise, they have to 
मेक गुड फूड और मेक फ्रेश फूड एंड यूज गुड मेटेरियल और गुड इनग्रीडियंट टू प्रिपेयर देयर फूड सेम थिंग हैपन इन भुवनेश्वर ऑल्सो एंड नाउ एट एज आई थिंक इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन एवरी सिटी द म्यूनसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ इच एंड एवरी वेंडर्स इच एंड एवरी फूड स्टॉक सो दैट पीपल ऑफ द सिटी गेट चांस टू गेट चांस टू गेट ईटिंग गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ फूड बिकॉज if we eat bad food if we eat food which has uh which don't had good in does not have good ingredients in it we may suffer from food poisoning and that food poisoning may lead to various kinds of diseases including stomach cancer so we should eat good quality of food rather than eating food from street vendors we should opt eating food in the restaurants okay <coughs> next point is to build and maintain school at primary and secondary levels yes education in a city there should be proper uh, education facility including primary and secondary levels because in primary levels we have schools at every village but at secondary level many rural students come to the city to study so there should be good and maintained secondary schools in every city so that people coming or students coming from the rural areas does not rural areas do not face any problem okay to organize adult literacy classes yes adult literacy because in our india many of the adults of uh, who have uh, born at the before independence has been limen illiterate since many time since a long time so they need to get literate and get a good quality education okay so every municipal corporation should promote adult literacy classes okay and sports and games too to maintain road and bridges yes <laughs> to, they should have roads and bridges they should also then local transportation services like public bus and trains yes because uh in loc in urban areas people are more if people are more then vehicles will be more if vehicles will be more then air pollution noise pollution is definitely getting to be more so to prevent an air pollution and noise pollution and also to prevent your traffic also to prevent your traffic we have to impose trans uh, uh, local transportation services like public buses and local trains so that many people can travel many people can travel uh, to their offices by that public buses so they need not to have their own bicycle own motor motorcycle own cars and traffic of the city will also decrease the traffic problem of the traffic chaos of the city will also get decreased and many people will get rid of chaotic traffic in the city and also air pollution and noise pollution will get eradicated step by step can also get eradicated step by step and to make public urinals yes very important because people uh, now you have seen in india the people urinate here and there where where they get place to do it but it should not be done there should be proper urines and urinals and latrine so that their health will be sick. preserve their health will not get affected by that and uh, proper maintaining of the urinals and latrines also should be done by the municipal corporations okay and also trees must be planted the trees must also get planted so that greenery is maintained in the city because the city areas are usually polluted uh, areas due to your vehicles industries so if we plant more and more trees in the roads this pollution will get less the air we will get fresh air to breathe and also noise pollution will also decrease due to planting of trees <coughs> now what are the sources of income what are the sources of income tax on property of house owners tax on business establishment like shops and markets tax on vehicles cars and motorcycle carriages water tax from users of municipal waste water toll tax for certain roads and bridges toll tax means suppose you are using a national highway you are having a car then you have to pay the toll tax 
for the development of the road or bridge. So that toll tax helps the government to maintain the road or build any new road in any other place. Okay. Octroi on go goods entering the city. Fees for use in issuing birth and death certificate. Yes, they issue some fees. So for uh, making birth certificate, they will take some fees. For making a death certificate, also they will take some fees. Then also they will get grants from the state government, the funds from the state government to have a development works in the city. The municipal council, Nagar Palika. Municipal council is set up in smaller towns such as municipal to smaller towns which have a population less than 1 lakh. Such bodies are known as municipal committee, municipal board or municipality. The composition are composition of the municipal council is the members of the municipality are elected directly by the people of the city. Directly, as in case of municipal corporation, the municipal cor councillors are directly elected by the people of the city. Here also, in the municipality, the people the people directly elect their members of the municipality. So, in a municipality, each city is divided into number of wards, ward 1, ward 2, ward 3, like that number of, they have, the city is divided into number of wards and each ward have its own member and the people of the ward elect their representative, which is known as councillor. The representative is called councillor and these councillors elect a chairperson and a vice chairperson. Like uh, your, in municipal councillors elect a mayor and deputy mayor in municipal council, these councillors elect a chairperson and a vice chairperson uh, and the chairperson presides over the meetings of the municipality and has vast powers. Yes, every work done by the municipality need a meeting and in that meeting, the head of the meeting is a chairperson. Okay, and he has vast powers. He has powers so that he can uh, take decisions, what to be done, what not to be done. The elected representatives also elect some experienced and eminent citizens who are known as eldermen. Yes, same. In case of your municipal corporation, also the eminent persons of the cities, the learned persons, the buddhijivi, is are uh, elected by the representatives so that they can give their suggestions uh, for the development of the city. Here also in municipality, the members of the municipality elect some eldermen so that they can give you necessary decisions, necessary suggestions, uh, beneficial suggestions so that it will be helpful for the development and upliftment of the people of the city. Besides these elected representatives of the st uh, state government appoints a commissioner who looks after the general administration of the municipality. Yes, the, the commissioner looks after the general administration, state government as a collector, as if the BDO, as a municipal commissioner. There also in municipality, there is a commissioner. Term of office. <laughs> Term of office is for five years, same as of municipal corporation. Here also the term is five years and also the seats are reserved for women, SC, ST and backward classes. Okay. However, it has some permanent officers like executive officer, secretary, health officer, sanitary inspector, municipal engineer and education officers. The permanent officers are appointed by the state government to control the administrative affairs of Nagar Palika. What are the permanent officers? Again, executive officer. Secretary, health officer. Health officer will look after the health of the city. But uh, are the uh, health workers working well? Are the hospitals maintained well? It will be looked after by the health officer and he will report the municipal head of the municipality, that is the chairman. Okay, chairperson. And next is sanitary inspector. Sanitary inspector will look after the drains. Are the drains properly managed? Are it uh, are the drains properly covered? Is the water sewage is the water uh, sewage disposal is uh, maintained properly and municipal engineer will look up the bridge roads construction and education officers will look up the school and educational institutions of the city okay so the difference between the municipal corporation and councils i've already told you but just a look uh, we will have on the difference these are meant for big cities with a population of 10 lakh and above these are meant for smaller cities. The head of the corporation is mayor. The head of the municipal committee is known as chairperson. The more powers, more sources of revenue. It has compared to less powers and fewer sources of revenue. Yes, this point is important. Why municipal corporation has more powers, more sources of revenue? Because municipal corporation 
is present in the city whose population is more than 10 lakh. So obviously, it will have a uh, industry base near it or it will be a capital. So many people are involved in giving revenue to the municipal corporation in form of taxes of the house, in form of water tax, in form of vehicle tax. But comparatively, in municipal committee or municipality, we have less people. So less people will give tax, less water tax will come. So comparatively, the revenue will the generation is more in case of municipal corporation, but it is less in case of your municipal committee. Next is it deals with the state government directly. Yes, it deals with the state government directly. It is an independent body. The Bombay Municipal Corporation in Mumbai directly deals with the Maharashtra state. Bhubaneswar Municipal Corporation directly deals with the uh, Odisha state. But Municipal Corporation deals with the state government through the district administration, that is with the color. Okay. The state government, the municipality deals with the state government through the district administration because municipality is established in smaller cities. So they will uh, talk to the district administration about their problems and then the district administration will take their problems to the state government. They will directly they can directly move to the state government. They have to move through the district administration to the state government. And then the state government will send funds and then the development works will take place. Okay, I hope you have understood the chapter. We'll move the next class. Till then, thank you. Like us, like and subscribe to the channel and stay safe. Jai Hind.